Custom Coin Rings USA here, and today I have a special unboxing. So let me show you what I have. This one I want to be extra careful with. So I've always wanted to get one of these. Mr. Monkey Swag 96 actually has quite a few of these, and I've never owned one. And I felt kind of left out. So. Here it is. There it is. This is an 1884 uncirculated Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar. And the Carson Cities are a lot more expensive and rare than just the regular ones. The regular ones in uncirculated condition of this particular year are usually maybe $30, $35, sometimes $40 depends where you get them. But this one, because it is from Carson City, sells for no less on eBay than maybe $130. And then in the special case like this, uh, the average ones I think were selling for around between $190 and $220. And that's what I got this one for. But man, these are beautiful. I love a display case. And I just want to be extra careful with this. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so let's use the Sigma tester to test this. And we can see All right, so we'll go to silver. 90% silver pre-1900. Hit run. Now, all I do is put this on top and it will test right through this case, no problem. And you can see it does test just slightly left of center, which is slightly better than 90%. Flip it over. Still right in brackets. As long as it's within the brackets, then it is in the acceptable range. So this does test authentic. And then normally if you want to keep your cased items in as good of condition as possible, it's best not even to touch any of the field area with the plastic that you see through. So if you do get fingerprints on there, the best thing to do is take a microfiber towel like this and just lightly buff them off. Don't use hard pressure because any dust you get on the rag will just grind into the plastic and you'll make swirl marks. In this case, I'm using a brand new towel. This came out of a fresh pack. And let me get the tester out of here. So on the front, you can buff off all the fingerprints. That way you don't have to worry about it looking unsightly, especially in the reflections. So this is what it looks like. So that is beautiful. This case is in very good condition. The coin is in very good condition as well. You can see the reflection of it. It is definitely uncirculated. And the reflection off the back there is really nice. So this is in very good condition. There's no big dents, dings, scratches anywhere on it. There are other Carson City silver dollars in the same kind of case as this, except it doesn't say uncirculated. It will just say silver dollar at the bottom. Those are the ones that have more damage on them. They'll have little nicks and dings and more bag marks. And those are the ones that can't be classified as uncirculated because of that. So they are worth less, but I wanted to get one of the very nice ones. So I'm really happy with this purchase. Let me just buff off the fingerprints here. You just want to be careful with it. All the edge around here is raised, so that helps because if you set this down on the table, especially if you set it on something like this, which is a, a stone table, it's slightly uneven, but it's flat enough to where it's not raised more than this lip is right here. So I can put this on the stone and not worry about uh, the stone actually touching anywhere inside here and scratching up any of the areas that you wouldn't want to scratch. This lip is maybe, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch high, so that helps protect the flat field area here that you see through because you wouldn't want that to get scratched. So the way that you can protect this is if you just put a towel over that area, like that, it'll keep 
all the field area clear, so that way you don't have to worry about things like when you're opening this with uh, pliers. All I'm doing is tearing off the outside, but if you look at the center here, the field area is perfectly clean, no fingerprints at all, and that's what you want. So I just want to carefully... Oh, oh, see, and I accidentally put a little bit of cracking right in the middle there. That's what you don't want because then it looks a little unsightly. But then once you take that apart, and then you turn it this way, Alright, so now that all the outside is off, you can see this still has no fingerprints on it. So this can be reused for other things. For instance, if I wanted to protect something like this Millennium Coin, you can put this right over it, and then you don't have to worry about scratching your Millennium Coin. Oops. Let me get that fingerprint off there. All right, so this is what we have. And let me zoom in here. Oh, wow, look at that. So I've always wanted one of these, and I've always wanted to make a ring out of one because I've never seen anyone else that's made a ring out of a Carson City Morgan. Well, actually, I take that back. I've seen a couple of rings made out of Carson City Morgans, but they were in terrible condition. So I wanted to get one that was in the best condition possible. And this one would be classified as, I don't know, MS, whatever that is. Uncirculated would be MS 63, 64. That's what a lot of these are graded as. So I'll be making a ring out of this one shortly. And as long as you take care, you won't have to damage the inside here. You can use this to hold other things. And if you want, you can always reuse the front and the back because, oops, let me buff the fingerprints off there. As you can see, still no scratches on it. Excellent condition. And that's what you want. So as you can see, with the care I took to make sure I covered the face, I made sure I didn't scratch or fingerprint it at all. I preserved all its integrity and the microfiber cloth helped to do that. So I hope these tips will help you out and help you make sure that your cases stay in great condition for years to come. And you can see this coin made into a ring soon. Thanks for watching, guys.